Hi, everyone. Hey, uh, so I finally got it sorted out how we're going to be able to do some of this online stuff. Um, normally, we break out. I've got like half a dozen, dozen uh, Unos in the classroom that we usually break out during fourth quarter. And we walk through and we plug them into the computers. We show how all this works. Can't do that right now. So I was looking at Tinkercad and realized they've already got the setup here to virtual it. Um, it doesn't work exactly the same but it will work for what our uses are. So what I've done is I've opened up Tinkercad. You all know how to do that. And I have got in there and I just basically typed in Uno and got the combination Uno board, uh, breadboard out here on my desktop. And then I've opened up the project book that's linked to us in the Canvas site. So in there, you'll find this book and it is, it's the whole book and you can just open it right up and work right out of it. Or you can download a copy of it, put it on your tablet, or I don't, you can print it, I guess, if you wanted to. It's a free book. Um, but what we do is I literally have you guys and girls work through some of these projects just to see what's going on. I think this is the, actually the example I put on the um, course of what we did. So there's your Arduino board right there. There's your circuit right there. I think this runs backwards on ours. But it talks about Ohm's Law, Watts Law, it reinforces pretty much everything we've done. That's just project one. Project two, like literally, it tells you what you need for components right here on the page. You need a switch, an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, a 10K ohm resistor, and that's it for this project. And basically what it does is it shows you how to make, how to build the circuit. So it's, they call it the spaceship interface. Uh, you walk down through it, it tells you what the digital, the important part is behind it. It tells you literally how to package it um, if you want. And there's some code here. It explains the code, and I'm not going to sit here and do it all longhand with you right now. Um, but basically what the code is, you can actually go in here and see these code bits right here. You can literally go in and type them in in your stuff. So if I drag this off here so you don't have to look at it, and I can go in here to my code, and I can do blocks, or I can do blocks in text. So there's my void setup right there. I start with the void setup, colon, parenthesis, line one. So i got to find my line one. It should read... Um, initiate switch state at zero so i can go in here and i can literally type in my stuff literally exactly right right off what it says in the book right here okay if you look at the book it's got all the pieces down there put in for you i can literally put it in just like it comes out of the book so um and that way i can work it right down the list and edit it right out now this defaults to some basics um, you can delete the stuff that you don't need, like literally take the line out and say, I don't want this, or just highlight it back and delete it. Um, but yeah, you can literally, it walks you through all this and how to do it in Tinkercad. And that's what we're looking for from you. So we'll have you work your way out from there and we'll hopefully get some good work done. I'm going to be putting some up that are, um, demos. Um, I'll be picking some of the different ones. Uh, just because I don't want you to just duplicate my work. I want you to, to see what I'm doing and try some of the other stuff. And hopefully we all get to the same place. This distance learning is killing me. I'd a lot rather have you guys in the lab. I'd rather sit down with you and walk us right through it. I, as you've noticed a couple of times, forgotten that, hey, normally we have discussions and we have these open-ended problems that have no right solution until we sort out what's really going on. And I have posted a couple of those and I'm sorry about that because I forgot. Oh yeah, we usually do this in the class. Oops. Um, so sorry about that. I will watch out for those and I'll make sure I proof everything first before I send it out from here on out. Thank you. And we will look forward to seeing you hopefully in a few weeks when all this craziness subsides and we can get back to the classroom.